In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can color many, many objects with a single material, but have all the objects be a different color. You can do this with just a couple nodes in the shading editor. So here I have over 7,000 Suzanne's in Blender, and they're all different colors. So how can we do that? Well, let's go back to where we don't have any Suzanne's colored yet. So here, all of these are basically the default material. So what I can do is go to shading. So I'll go ahead and move to the shading tab. And I have a material that I've called random colors and it's applied to all of these objects here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. The first thing we need to do is in our node is add a color ramp. So click inside the node editor, press shift A, then click search and type color ramp. Then we're gonna plug the color from the color ramp into the base color. Now this will modify the colors, but as you can see, it's just changing the color. What we actually want to do is have these be different colors on each object. So how can we do that? We need some sort of random. And if I look for random in the nodes in Blender, if I search and I type random, I'm not gonna find anything. So what should we do? If you look for object though, and we select object info. Object info has a random setting. So then we could plug random into the factor of the color ramp. And you can see instantly we have this ramp from black to white having all of these figures being random. So I can keyframe this by sliding these sliders in the color ramp and it will change the different colors of the objects which is pretty cool, and this is keyframable so you can animate it. But what's even more fun, if I click on this white color and I drag it down to pink, now I have this cascade of pink, and I can click on the black color here, and then I can raise this up to have a little bit more luminosity, and I can change this to green. And then I can click this plus button, and I can add many more colors, so you can add as many colors as you want. Now add one more here. Let's get some blues in there. So I'll click right here. You click on the color on the bottom to bring up the color picker, and then you can change it to different colors. And you can see how this now has this color scheme going straight across all the different objects. Since I separated the eyes on this, you can see that the eyes are all different colors as well. Then we're going to move this color right over here, and we'll click on it. And let's see, what color should we add next? I'm gonna increase the luminosity here, and we're gonna come right over and get a nice red color. And then I'll add one more color. And I'll click on this orange here. And we're gonna bring this over to get that nice pastel blue. And then I'll add another one. Let's actually add a black color in here. That'll look nice. So we have a real nice dark color too. And there we go. So now we have all these random colors all over the model. So you can easily do this with just a single material and then it affects all of the objects that are applied to that material. So hopefully this helps you assign random colors to many objects when you're modeling in Blender.